going to do a slightly different video today and we have decided to answer some questions so we're going to do that while we're going around it's a really horrible day it's raining and everything so we'll do our best so i hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe so yeah ooh. <laughs> well Hi. hello everybody um if you could have tuned in a moment ago you guys would have just been like what <laughs> But anyway, we'll get to that later. Um, I'm oh no, talk about it now. <laughs> <laughs> you really want me to? Oh, so I left my phone, I thought, at the motel. Well, I, had to, I asked her to put it in her purse because I had another phone and had all my banking stuff on it, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, I went then to grab it. Out. I, I, well, I, I did accuse you. Did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I you just did. thought I asked you to put it in your purse and you didn't. I it told was... you, I put it in your purse. <laughs> Well, you I didn't. Did. We've got to get off now. Did I? Did I really talk like that? In it. Did I say the <laughs> f word? Yes, you did. No, I didn't. No, you did. I may have, you guys. No, you did. But anyway, yeah, that's that just happened just now, and it really happened. So, and she's kind of like really, like I told you so. Yeah. And where was it? <laughs> it I'm was underneath seat. your butt. On, yeah, on the seat where you had left it. Because you asked me to switch seats yeah, with you so, so we could shoot. So yeah. I didn't have it at all. Anyway, one minute later. <laughs> right, we're going to... Give me a kiss. I we're we're going to answer some questions we thought you might be interested in. So we're going to start with first impressions when you're at the airport. So we... Is now. <laughs> We tried to quit. We tried we tried to shoot this on the bus but we couldn't really hear it, which is a really big thing for her because there was people around and that's so awesome. That's just a huge thing for her because she is so private, you guys. I mean she's open like this, but she's not. It's really hard for her to do this around people. But. Okay. Anyway, yeah, hey, whoa, whoa. Go first. Me? Yeah. Oh, first impressions. Well, I think I was super tired. I'd been travelling from the Sunday until the early hours of Tuesday, which would be Tuesday morning in the UK. So I was exhausted and I think I was just overwhelmed by the whole situation and then seeing him standing there waiting for me and then he came up and it was like all nerves and like, I don't know, I just felt really nervous and then he tried to kiss me, which was a bit overwhelming. I tried to stick my tongue in her mouth, you guys. <laughs> I wasn't actually going to tell them that, but... <laughs> well, that's a kiss in America. <laughs> and then I was like, whoa, that's too much. <laughs> like that, very British. And um, so... And then he was like... Oh, well, yeah, okay. first impressions because she looked beautiful and it was just, it was great. First impressions when I first seen her and then I tried to kiss her and she was like, whoa, too much. She put a hand against me. And then you felt rejected. I felt rejected, um, like you spoke about, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why you're not really affectionate and stuff. And I really felt that way. I felt rejected and um, I turned red in the face and I just, and I really shut down. And um, I, yeah, I was thinking, oh God, it's going to be a long couple of weeks. That's what I first thought. So, yeah. That was first impression. <laughs> I kind of felt a little bit the same because of that and how... Because like we'd always thought, I wonder what's going to happen when we actually meet. We're going to run to each other, we're going to hug, we're going to I'm going to comment on that in a second. Go oh, ahead, go ahead. Go on. Go on. I, because that's what I told you I was going to do when I first seen you. Yeah. <laughs> you had one. But, you know, it all turned out fine a couple of hours later. It really did. Four <laughs> hours later and... That's adult talk. That's adult talk. <laughs> Four hours later, actually, and then and then we both we both yeah we, we did reflect on everything. I think is I think we, that's testament to you that you then just got back to being yourself and it's welcoming. A, it's a and testament to both of us. Thanks. Absolutely to you also. Absolutely. You didn't take that as like maybe that's all he wants from me or nothing. You really no. just you know what I mean. It's a testament to you also. Because I can see in your spot, you might have thought that's all I wanted because it's the first thing I did. And then five days later. <laughs> yeah. Right, next Bye. question. Let's walk for a little bit. Okay. Moon in the sky. I'm looking at the moon. I don't got them. Don't tell me you've lost the question as well. <laughs> oh, actually, you're filming right now? <laughs> I've actually got a question. So, this is like my last couple of full day. <laughs> so, how are you feeling today? Knowing that tomorrow I'm going. How do you think I'm feeling? <laughs> utterly, utterly empty. Even though she's still here, I'm. I'm uh, I feel like I'm grieving something that's died, honestly. Um, 
that's really really hard for me it's gonna be it's gonna be extremely hard for me i think i'll be physically ill almost honestly that's how much i'm gonna miss her um i can't i can't i can't begin to tell you guys that uh i get emotional i start to cry um i just don't ever want to let her go i never ever ever want to let her go it just but it, it makes me really motivated to uh to work just as hard so we can get this a permanent situation because it's going to be just as hard on her you know like last night i'm going to share this you can take edit it if you want she told me she feels like she's going back and um she's going to be alone again doing things on her own again okay. and that's that's not cool man so but it's like it's like to have someone for like two weeks and for that and every night you feel the next year and you wake up with them and he says goodbye in the morning when he goes to work. I'm like, I won't have that anymore. So it's like, so goodbye. But, uh, <laughs> but it's, I just, I'll tell you guys, I'll say in front of her, Sarah, I love you with all my heart and my soul. Yeah. And, uh, we're going to do this. And we got it. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. And I, I feel exactly the same. And I feel like, as much as I feel empty going back to the UK, I also feel really motivated to change. Even that situation we had a minute ago on the train with the phone and you could see and then last night over bread it's just some stuff that i'm trying to work on like sometimes i'll come across where i seem like i'm yelling or i'm snappy but that's just that's what i've been i i learned behavior that i learned in prison because you have to be assertive and quick and fast and, and almost aggressive like that and it comes out with everybody and anything and it's very embarrassing and I, and I talked to her about that last night and that would be very embarrassing but, if i did it in front of people to her but i'm aware of that I'm going to try not to take it too seriously and just laugh it off. It's, it's not that's personal. All, that's all you can do in that situation. It's not personal. Right. At all. Because I would never want to do anything that would hurt her or alienate her from me. And, and if I keep doing that, it would, obviously. But I'm really working on it. So. But I think that comes down to understanding as well. Like, we've developed an understanding of each other. So, support each other through those behaviors. Moon in the sky, I'm looking at the moon in the sky. This shouldn't come as a surprise, but I can't sleep. War in my mind. I'm trying to fight a war in my mind I don't know who's the winner tonight But it ain't me Where are you now? When my fears are worse than ever When the night goes on forever When I'm losing track of time Where are you now? When I need you more than ever When I ain't got shit together So oh, we're here with another uh, question Q and A, and the question is, why do you think we were so sure we loved each other before we ever met? 
Sara, would you like to go first? No, I was going to say you can go first. I get to go first yeah, this time? Yeah, and then I get to listen to your answer. Mm, <laughs> why was I so sure? Well, I wasn't so sure at first that she loved me. I mean, honestly, but I don't know. I, I can't really explain what made me fall in love with her um, other than... It has, I, I don't know, there's just something, chemistry and love, I don't know what it is exactly, but it was through the communication and how easy it was to talk with her and just so many things in the beginning that um, that made me fall in love with the person that I was getting to know at first. Um, for me, this was just a formality in my mind, you know what I mean, just part of, just part of it, but uh, I didn't think it would really determine whether I loved her. I felt I loved her before we ever met in person. I feel like I knew her before we ever met in the flesh, face to face. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Um, it was. I don't know what made me so sure. Just, just everything. The consistency. The the way I could tell her anything. Um, the way I could tell you anything. Just every everything. I just. It's not one one little thing. So that's pretty much where I'm at. What was the question again? No, you know what the question is. <laughs> How were you so sure that we were in love even before we met? <clears throat> um, just through the communication, the fact that. He was very honest about everything. He didn't hide anything. Because he googled Every, it. I googled everything. I checked everything out. It all tallied, and um, just the depth that we kind of our conversations were, and that we could tell each other anything. Without, without the being ashamed or embarrassed, I never once felt that with you. Like you would never. reject me. Never. Not since day one. I don't know what it, it in, that drew me in. Yeah, but there was stuff that you were afraid to tell me. So you must have been afraid of I, how it would My insecurities made me feel that way. <laughs> but the truth is that it, even when I did tell you and stuff did come out and just everything, you know what I mean, everything in my history and my past and just everything, you were still there, man. So that made me love her more. Made me love you more. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, so I, and I just think that kind of that the depth is something that was completely new to me and I haven't had with anybody even in friendships and even with family I've never had it in my whole life it was the first time I've ever experienced that level of depth and that communication and then we just got on and obviously I was attracted to him and everything and, and like so it was a kind of it was everything I was attracted to you also <laughs> It was a tick of everything, really. Yeah, it's just not one thing. But yeah, even before we met in the flesh, yeah, absolutely. And another thing is people people say, I love you, but there's always like a something attached. I love you until you do this. I love you until you say this or you act this way, but it's never, I've never felt that way with you. Like it would be, I love you until, or I love you, but like there was a stipulation attached to it. So it's never, I've never felt that with you. This felt 100% what it is like to be loved by somebody. And I think as well, it's things that you can't explain and yeah. put a rationale behind, like always wanting, looking forward to his text message, text messages and his videograms and getting excited Yours to too. open those. And I still feel that two and a half years later, Me too. which is still unusual to have that level of communication. A level of wanting it. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty great. Yeah, so that sets it apart and let you know that it's something more and deeper. Yeah. And I, just, I think it's very hard to explain. Just the really. way she looks at me, you guys, <laughs> it melts me inside. Ugh. I guess, ugh, weak me. Just the way she looks at me. And then other times I look at you and you're like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> just want to make sure you still love me. Yeah. Does yeah. that answer that? I think that, I think that does. And we shall return. Yeah, it's just freezing out here. Yes, it's very cold. It is dumping in Salt Lake right now. Bye guys. Bye. Into my hat. Look what he's put on me now. Put his scarf and his hat. What is going on? My life has changed. This is my life. <laughs> it is really cold, you guys. Or she would never put that on. Uh, just because I put it on briefly, it's something I'm keeping it on. And not until we get to where it's warm. <laughs> We're still going to stop on the train. We still got some places to stop. Mm -hmm. the moon in the sky this shouldn't come as a surprise but i can't sleep war in my mind i'm trying to fight a war in my mind 
I don't know who's the winner tonight, but it ain't me Where are you now? When my fears are worse than ever When the night goes on forever When I'm losing track of time Where are you now? When I need you more than ever When I ain't got shit together Hey again. Coffee time. Coffee time. Coffee time. Coffee and talk time Ashley with Cappuccino. Us. Uh, talk time with us. I have a French vanilla. It's really nice. I have a sweet caramel delight. So she said it's because very it's nice though. So, because it's so delightful. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. Ah, it's really loud here. I hope you guys just come through good. So here's the question. Sara just wrote this on the train. And he he's desperate to know I'm what my answer is. Desperate to know. Do you think your differences are greater than similarities? If so. Can you overcome these? So I'm. Do you gonna, want to start with that? I one? will because that's how you make me do it. <laughs> but um, I think I think our differences are what unite us, honestly. Um, because I lack in a lot of things that Sara has. I mean, honestly, that's how I feel. Like yeah. you just you're a lot you're a lot of things I strive to be. Um, but there are some differences. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm a man and you're a woman. First of all, haha. <laughs> um, At just, least you know that. Now. Yes, I do know that now. I didn't know. I wanted to make sure, you know. So that is the plus about meeting. You know, you never really know until you know. Um, and she was born that way, guys. So. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I don't think there, there are anything that we have to overcome like it's a challenge. That's my opinion in our differences. I think they complement each other. That's, that's where I'm going to stay with that. That's how I feel. You're up. Um, I think we're very, very different in the way we come across and our personalities, very different. But I think in that way, I think we can kind of compliment each other that you can bring me out of myself more and my shell. And because he just says the most random stuff and I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> and um, but that's a good thing. That, that's good. It challenges me and um, quotes down my, my hat on. And I've got his hat on. I'm just rolling with it. <laughs> just rolling. See, she's Americanized. I'm just rolling with it. Um, At least it goes with my outfit. Yeah. But, um, so those are the, the, yeah, and because I'm a bit more sensible and a bit more, you know. It's logical. <laughs> you are. I'm really impulsive and I'm working on that. Okay. All right. So I kind of think that those are our differences and sometimes I worry that I'm probably a little bit too sensible for you and a little bit reserved and a bit shy. And that worries me a little bit. But <laughs> you want me to speak? But then on the other side, if we sit down and we look at our goals and what we want for the future, they're exactly then the they're same. exactly the same. If that makes sense, it's weird, but they are. I mean, to the word, they're the, they're the same. <laughs> Excuse me. But I won't resent her. I won't resent you for that. About being more sensible and more reserved, because um, actually, I, I need I need I need to do that in certain situations that where I'm not, because I've just lived in an environment where you're you don't have that luxury. You know, you have to react. You have to just. But there's no excuse. But I'm just telling you, it's ingrained. It's, it becomes a bad behavior. So I, I, I look up to you for that. I would never resent you for that. And you are coming out of your shell more. You're actually wearing a hat right now that you would never wear. You're speaking in public, which you would never do. You're yeah. you're just different. You're you're different now. You, but I, I think that's in me anyway. But I think it takes me a while to come out of my shell with people. Um, She's very affectionate, you guys, towards me. Very affectionate. 
always wanting to hold my hand, comes up and hugs me, kisses me, um, totally just melts me. So it's just t something totally different for her. So it's great. Yeah, because I'm not very good with people like that in my personal life anyway. But And it's weird because in work I can hug a resident and be really sympathetic and everything, but I, I struggle. Do I strike you as I a resident? <laughs> <laughs> uh. But I, I struggle like in personal relationships. I don't know why that is, but I don't with you. Don't that, that's another reason why I'm so sure. <laughs> Okay. Another question. Does that answer that? Yeah. Are you happy with that answer? I love it. you were worried. I was worried. Because she wrote it, so I was wondering <laughs> if she was thinking it, you guys. I mean, all of a sudden she comes up with a question saying she wonders <laughs> if, if our differences are too much and we can and she, we, we can work through them, basically. Of course I wonder about if that's how she was really thinking. Are they too different? Can I? Can we work through I th them? I think as well, the longer we spend together and the more interaction we have down the line as well, I think things will change and... Well, I, we'll, de I, I we'll definitely know boundaries really well with each other. You know, because yeah, I don't know what's good with you all the time and, 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 and just you don't only learn yeah, that but, through interaction. But also I will get more comfortable. Really? <laughs> Well, lucky me. He can't wait for that day. No, lucky me, guys. Good stuff right there. I might just leave the bathroom door open. <laughs> Shit. Did you film that? Did you? Did you really? That's another thing. Our difference is he is extremely clumsy. I'm surprised There's I made it to work happening. every day. There's always something happening. <laughs> yeah, you win some, you lose some, guys. You got that on film, didn't you? <laughs> and it, this is what we'll be talking about when we talk about him being clumsy. But I'm not even embarrassed in front of her anymore. <laughs> An accident prone. I'm not embarrassed in front of you anymore about it. Can we rewind? Huh? <laughs> Hey everybody. So the next question is, did either of us ever doubt that we would meet in person? Well, not for the longest time I didn't. Until Sara, which she did, she did a vlog on this, we did. Until Sara went and purchased her tickets. And then she she went through a really emotional, emotional time over that. Um, I can't really put it into words because I didn't deal with it. I could only sympathize. But I, at that point I had doubts that Sara would ever show up. So until she told me she could not get a refund on the tickets, so she was coming for sure, just because she could not get a refund, or Sara probably would have tried to trade him in and stop the trip. Honestly, that's being real, being real. So yeah, I, I at, at that time I had a doubt that Sara would show up at all. So, okay. Up until then I didn't, up um, until that moment. Uh, yeah, I think purchasing the tickets kind of, and then I got flu and I was really ill and I suddenly started contemplating everything. And then I was thinking about if it didn't work and how disappointing that would have been. Like it would have broken me, I think. Me too. Because I put so much time and weight in that whole length of time. Me too. As well. Me too. Okay. Me also <laughs> people. Yeah, but it's a little bit different for you. You did, you, you so you're saying time. I'm not, I wasn't as emotionally involved? I'm not saying that. Because that's what it comes down to. I'm saying you would have to wait anyway. Not for you. No, not for me, <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Yeah. We know what we, what we, know, what, we, we know, know what she means. I, I know what I mean and everybody else knows what I mean. <laughs> but it was just a real, yeah, I kind of freaked out a little bit. I, I think I just got scared with everything. <laughs> yeah. But so you did doubt that you would ever show up, or that we would ever meet at that point? I was worried, and it I, I, maybe it went through my head a couple of times. Well, I but hope it really I... went through your head because you wrote this question down. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a couple of weeks before I was to fly, I did contemplate coming out because I had all this anxiety. I was suffering so badly with anxiety. Yeah. 
consider, I was like, is this really worth it, the anxiety? But then I was like, like I would have easily just happily thrown those tickets away. Easily and happily? <laughs> I don't mean it. I don't mean it like that. You're taking it out of context. I'm not but taking it out of context. The, the, the anxiety I was suffering was so bad at that point, and fear and everything. Yeah. That to take that pain away, it wouldn't. It wouldn't have mattered about losing the flight price money. But then on the flip side, I knew that I had to meet him because we put so much investment into that. And I had to know. And I would always wonder and always regret not meeting you. I'm wondering what's going to be. That's my answer. <laughs> That's how I felt. That is how I truly felt. Yeah. And, and obviously now I'm so glad that I didn't. I am so glad. Back you out. Didn't. <laughs> so glad. But I think I think at the heart of everything, I kind of knew that. I knew I knew that this was something more. I'm glad you did. <laughs> I'm gonna stop now because I'm gonna kiss me <laughs> and then get quizzed. <laughs> Very much quizzed, <laughs> guys, because this ain't where it stops. Right when this camera goes off, trust and believe that. that they'll be like, "Don't stop the camera. We want to see." Because <laughs> I have a ton of questions after that one question, so that's where it goes. But why are you covering up? <laughs> Just to remind you, I've got a ring on my finger. Bye. <laughs> 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 uh, moon in the sky. I'm looking at the moon in the sky. This shouldn't come as a surprise, but I can't sleep.